Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. I skipped the past couple of weeks uh, of doing a tutorial because I was feeling like everyone seems to be repeating their old tutorials, and that's great for them, but I'm not really comfortable with that for myself unless I find something else completely unique about it. You know, and so I'm going to be slowing down maybe a little bit on these tutorials, and I might even start doing some shorts of my old tutorials, so that's in a different section of YouTube. But just when I thought I was running out of ideas, I was discovered something else that I thought was exciting, for me anyway, and I thought you would appreciate it too. I discovered a way to do pointillism in a very simple way to a photograph. And it's so simple, so let's get started. So I pulled this photo from stock photos, and I do apologize. I went back to stock photos and I could not find it again. But you could pull what, uh, most photos out that you want. This will not work with every photo. You just have to experiment on your own. So it's very important to do it this way because I tried it putting in different orders and it didn't work for me. So select the layer and go to Live Filters down here and go to Minimum Blur. And I had no idea what Minimum Blur means in Maximum Blur. I just was playing. I always play. I always choose Preserve Alpha so that the edges don't blur out the wrong way. I like to keep the whole photo showing. And this, I found this little thing called Circular Checkbox. So I checked it. And what I did was slowly brought up my radius. Now, depending on the size of your photo, you got to decide how much radius you're going to bring it up. And so I'm going to keep going. In this particular photo, I think 8 looks pretty good. So there you go. Right there you have the little pointillism, but that's not all I wanted to do. Make sure you select this one more time. And again, if you don't, it may make the photo look a little bit different, but I select the layer with the photo again, go to live filters and add noise because most pointillism uh, paintings I've seen have a lot of noise as part of the pointillism. So I just added this really grain and you could do monochrome or you can actually keep the actual colors like that. And I think, I think this worked out pretty well. And it was so simple. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. And now I'm going to show you how to do this on the iPad. Here we are in the iPad version. If you didn't watch the desktop version, you'll see that I just pulled this in from stock photos. Um, I apologize. I don't have the link. I was looking for it and I couldn't find the photo again. But you can choose your own photo. And some photos will work and some photos might not. So I am just taking my layer on top and it's this is such a simple thing I'm selecting that layer and now I'm going into filters which is right here and make sure you have live filters on so you can adjust them later and the first thing I'm going to do I got excited about this because I didn't know this even existed and I don't even know why it exists but I had fun using it so I chose minimum blur right down here and on the bottom there's a thing that says circular. So I turned on circular. And now when I bring up the radius, and you got to go very slowly with this, and it depends on the size of your photo. So I brought, I just am sliding to my right and choosing, I don't want to go like really like that. It doesn't make any sense. On this photograph, I'm just going to go maybe to an eight. This says 8.1, close enough for me. And that was that alone I thought was pretty cool. But then I noticed on pointillism art, uh, there's usually a lot of noise. So once again, I went to live filters again. And I believe I'm trying to find add noise. <laughs> so let's see. Again, I'm used to the desktop. So I'm trying to learn this as I go along. Here we go. Add noise right on top. And on intensity near the bottom here. I'm just, I, I'm not going to use the numbers. If I click it, I could put in a number, but I don't want to put in a number. I'm just going to slide to my right and add noise. And, and that's, I think that's pretty good. And I think that's all there is to it. So there's a quick way to turn a photograph into some artwork of pointillism style artwork. And again, you can add all kinds of things, levels, you can do other kinds of filters. But I just wanted to show you this quick way. And I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, 
I'd appreciate it if you click that like and subscribe button and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.